yeah, crazy, crazy ass motherfucker. And yeah, it'll it'll fucking I'll it'll work. Itself. New uh, message I, you know, inbound from <laughs> Spaceship Nine Thousand One Hundred and Fifty. I'll accept. Uh, let's hear what it has to say. Go ahead. I'm a horny alien. I need a I need a big strong alien man. To, ah, I need it. I need an alien man to come in my my space chambers. And bust me wide open like a dropped egg in the in the Kroger aisle. Uh, transmission uh, deleted. Please move to trash. Uh, please. Uh, okay, there's a couple more voicemails. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to. Let's put her in uh, overdrive here. We'll put her in autopilot. Let's see what's next. All right. Uh, click play. General, this is a message from Admiral Booty Hall. There is an urgent matter that needs attending to promptly. Please meet me uh, on the uh, ass, asshole, asshole butt level of the d- ship immediately in two hours. Uh, okay. Start Let's heading see, uh... up there in two uh, As soon as it's in two hours, head up there immediately. All right, all right. Uh, over uh, and out. I'm... This is Admiral Butthole, Booty Hole, Butthole Booty Hole. Ad- Does anybody? Uh, hey, John, do you know Roger if Admiral that. Booty Hole is? If Admiral Booty Hole is real, <laughs> um, do you know? Okay, he does. Okay, he's not real. Okay, well, all right. I'm assuming that was a prank call from Earth, which is crazy. We're like fucking 900 parsecs away from that motherfucker. We got one. All right, let's. I just, I'm trying to see if my if they got my wife's call. They were able to kind of figure out some time travel digital stuff. Uh, all right. Well, let's cross our fingers, guys. I haven't heard from her in a long time. I've been in cryo sleep for 500 years. Let's see what, let's see what she said. Okay, click. Hi, this is Pam the Ant. I'm an ant over here at the Ant Hill, and we just saw your wife, and she was eating a BLT sandwich. That stands for a uh, big ass. Big piece of big, big bacon, lettuce, and cheese, and tomato, big sandwich. And we're just, I'm just letting you know, I'm Pam the Ant, and um, uh, I crawled up her leg, and uh, I saw one of her knees, and then I just, and then I crawled back down, and I went, and I hunted for food. Goodbye. Captain, I'm sorry that wasn't your wife. It's okay. It's okay. Um, It's fine. It's all right. Um, somebody has the ship's number, and I believe that we're being fucked with. It was pretty funny, sir. It, it's not funny. It's not funny at all. I miss my wife. Um, but it looks like we have some messages here, uh, some written messages. Um, let me see. Let me activate the AI. AI, please read the written emails from the space captain's log uh, post cryo sleep. Captain's log. Morning. Space age 100 million and five and a half. Good morning. It is Earth Tuesday. I have just opened my laptop and I'm looking up a bunch of Spaniard porno. Spanish porno. And I love it because it's like sort of Latino, but like a a primordial Latino. Like before they even had them. Close your ears, guys. I thought to, I tried to open my email and get the AI to read it, not my personal notes. I want to make it clear to the AI that I'm trying to have my emails read and not my personal diary. Please don't read my personal diary. Just read the emails. Okay. Uh, there you go, AI. All right. Input command. Emails sent from Captain. Email sent to Baskin Robbins. Why don't you sell a birthday cake so big that a big guy can eat it and it's he and you should sell a Baskin Robbins spoon. I eat ice cream for breakfast every day. I fucking hate I hate anything eating anything else. Every time I eat ice cream I wish it was my wife. I wish I could eat her bones. Okay, pause. Great. Okay. Um I don't Please okay, my fault. Please search for any incoming messages from my wife, Samantha Captain. One message incoming from Samantha Captain. 
Okay, please read, AI. Thank you. Hey, Captain, it's me, your wife. Wife, Captain. And I'm Samantha, and I just wanted to say I love you, and I love being oh, your that's wife. That's so nice to hear. That's great to hear. And I'm I so it. glad that you are my uh, guys, space husband. I knew she didn't forget about me all the and way up And I here, didn't man. forget about you all the way up there, and your nuts are big. And I know. See, she said it. And it's normal to watch Spaniard porno, and it's normal to eat cake all the time. And, uh, oh, I wanted you to let you know earlier today, the craziest thing happened. This aunt, I think her name was Pam, crawled up my leg up to my knee Mm. and then took a look at my knee and then went back down and ate a piece of food. Captain, I have some bad news. She said she'd call you. Based on the tone of your wife's voice, I believe that Pam the aunt hijacked your wife's email and maybe your wife was not on the other side of that email Uh, i don't want you to be alarmed as the leader of this great journey but uh and as as part of the message to ants can't type so it couldn't be i can't be an ant ants can't type they're too light Uh, (laughs) as your sober intelligent co-captain i must say that the last part of that message is rather suspicious (laughs) And for an antitype, it has to be a few of them to weigh down the keys. <laughs> they have to stack. They have to stack Johnson, on top no, of each other. No, this is my wife. This, to I, this as has much to as be a finger. A finger weighs a lot to ants. My wife talks and she types like this. It has to be her. And, uh, uh, Mr. Captain Husband, it must be me, your wife, because there's no way it's a bunch of ants shaped like a hand is typing. That would be crazy. Listen, Captain, I uh, I don't want to be the one to inform you that uh, it does seem with every passing moment that that there's a, a lot of ants shaped like a hand typing a message, pretending to be your wife in an attempt, I imagine, to either torture you or at the very least extort money from you. And if I was your wife, and that's why you'd want to send me awesome things like, like part of an uncrustable, or maybe honey, or maybe Coca Cola. Please send me half a can of Coca Cola, part of a, an uncrustable that somebody dropped, and um a hill. Listen, Co-Captain Johnson, I understand where you're coming from, and un- I understand how this looks, but I, my wife loved Uncrustables. She loved honey, and she loved hills. And so as it stands, I think that there's a good, still a good chance that this is not a bunch of ants that had her laptop shaped into a hand typing a message. And also... Here's a picture of my pussy, and if it looks like it's made out of ants, it's not. I just, I just got sunburnt, and I made my skin oh. look like it was a bunch of ants. Captain, I'm willing to entertain this for only a few moments longer. If you click open on that JPEG, and it looks like a bunch of ants shaped into the shape of a woman's pussy that I need you to close your browser and we must begin our journey again. Fine, fine, but I'm going to open it up. I'm going to open it up and you're going to see that it is a normal woman's vagina and not a bunch of ants shaped to look like one. Because I don't even, first of all, I don't even know how they would do that, okay? And second of all, my wife sends me fucking cooter pics all the time when I was back on Earth and this is her first one she sent me since I've been in space 500 years asleep. So, here goes nothing. Let me ask you a question, Captain. What do you see before you? I see, I see, um, I see, uh, uh, my, my, I see a beautiful woman's body. You see a bunch of fucking ants. You see a bunch of goddamn ants gathered together into some sort of ham sandwich looking type shape. And you want to sit here 
and waste all of our time, the crew that you swore to protect, thinking that your wife is sending you pussy pics 500 million parsecs away from Earth. She's dead, Captain. We've been on this ship for 500 years. Well, as it turns out, co-captain, as it turns out, we've got a message from your wife. Fine, I'll accept the fact that, you know what, maybe I'm being bamboozled by a bunch of fire ants that live in my front yard. But let's see what your wife has to say. I don't think we need to do all of that. Let's see what she has to say, because these were just my emails, okay? We got a whole crew here. We got a whole crew of people who haven't spoken to their loved ones in 500 years. So let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and see what co-captain's wife has to say. Computer search voice messages from Samantha Johnson, the co-captain's wife. Oh, here, there's a couple. Okay, here we go. Please don't, please don't have to do this. Play. Hey there, I am the co-captain's wife, also named Samantha Johnson. And I'm just co-captain Johnson. I just wanted to tell you how much I miss that big old Johnson of yours. <laughs> and also, uh, I just wanted to say... I've been getting real worried about the ice caps lately. You know, I care so much about polar bears and always have. I, of course, am not one. But if I were to be one, I think I would be concerned for them now and maybe be setting up inflatable rafts that are claw-proof along the... uh, the Antarctica which is in either the north or south of of, of America of See, it's I either told- top or bottom probably <laughs> probably bottom cause Santa can't live in Antarctica it's, he's on the other one so Antarctica's the bottom one and Santa's on top I told all of you that was my wife my wife has a beautiful beautiful feminine voice she's a phd in neuroscience and she also loves polar bears captain just one question i'm the british boy on the ship do you think it, perchance it's possible that 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 was a polar bear pretending to be your wife that it was b- because i know that you said your wife Loves polar bears, but you'd think that if she did, she would know which part of the earth they were on, whereas a polar bear's intelligence is not all that great. He might not know what side of the earth. It was my wife. My wife, um, my wife knows she was just playing a trick. And I don't, listen, I know we're all kind of taken aback by <clears throat> Captain's wife being uh, now a bunch of ants or perhaps dead and eaten by ants. It's not anybody's business but uh, but his and the ants. That is my wife, not a polar bear. <clears throat> and I won't be pushed any further on the subject. Well, I mean, just from where we're sitting, maybe they had a picture too. Perhaps we could search it. Captain, please search any images coming from Samantha Johnson, co-captain. Yeah, we'll do, because I'm loving the fuck out of this, because if my wife's an ant and this guy's wife a polar bear, we got a, uh, a crazy, crazy, crazy journey ahead of us. Let's go ahead and open a, ooh, a video, a video from the co-captain's wife. Hmm. Please don't open the video. I'm going to go ahead and open it. I'm begging you, sir. Please don't do it. I think at this point it's worthwhile to do it. Hey, it's me. I'm your, I'm co-captain Wife Johnson. Here, here I am playing with my very furry boobs. I love how much fur is on them. And they are white, just like they always have been. And my nipples are on my, probably my stomach. I I would guess like a cat. <laughs> like all girl, earth girls do. And I s- squirt. I squirt. And it's... That's just like a normal human does. Do you like how long my torso is? 
It's normal girl length. So, we, we can stop the video now. Um, I just first I want to address the captain. Co captain, I see that you're, you're brooding. And as the as the young British boy of the ship, I must I must be the the, the voice of reason, Captain. You must be in hog heaven, because your wife was a pile of ants mere moments ago, and the co-captain seemed pretty incredulous about it. It seemed he seemed a little mocking, perhaps in his stoicism. And so you, being the captain. Press play on the video, and as the Lord would have it, his wife is a polar bear, like I assumed. <laughs> she isn't. Uh, that's like uh, she wears a suit. Or, um, I figured that maybe we could all be adults about this, and uh, my wife is into um, animal play. Listen, Captain. Even the most expensive and finest quality furry suits. Don't have blood and viscera hanging from the mouth like a real polar bear does. So you should accept the very distinct possibility that your wife has been eaten and replaced by a polar bear best case scenario, or perhaps that you are always married to one. Okay, British boy. Let's see if you got any loved ones back home. I was an orphan. Well, let's see if you got any messages from your parents then. I haven't spoken to them ever on behalf of them giving him, giving me up to the coal miners, but it would be interesting to see who brought me to this planet Earth. Yeah, I can get, I can get behind that. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, what's your? I know you as a uh, British boy on the ship. That is my legal name. Okay, search email. F uh, f Two British boy on the ship um, and look for attachments. Okay, one attachment and it's got an email sent to it. And it says, wow, British boy. It says, from Mr. and Mrs. British boy's original parents. Yeah, we'll go ahead and hit play on that. Hello, British boy. I'm your British father. And I, your British mum. We are both just hanging out. I am on the hunt for carrion to eat, which is normal British food. We like roadkill and carrion. Right. We are in Britain, the, known across the world as the New England. Right. And we are both humans, and we love things like walking, and we love, uh, we're just a couple of bipeds, and we really like to, ex we don't like carrion, we like fresh food, we don't like ro dead badgers. Right, we hate dead badgers. We like to eat live ham. And we well, like well. to circle. We like to circle things, but we walk when we do it. Yeah, we walk. We walk when we do it. We like to go to this human store. For We don't like the buzzard store. Right. We don't well, go to buzzard, about <laughs> buzz mart. I think that about, I, I, at first, to be completely honest with you, British boy on the ship, I, uh, I thought maybe that could, have, that could have been your real mother and father. It clearly was. Um, it was, and I, I brought a tear to my eye to hear the voice of Diddy and Mummy. Yeah. Um, I think it, it, this is probably the most bizarre thing that's ever happened to, to me in my space career. Um. There are six people on this ship. We're at the third person. Each person has had a loved one back home that they haven't heard from or seen since they left Earth in 2023. It started with the captain. His beloved wife was actually an ant bed, 
a whole, well, ants from a bed of ants, as it turns out, uh, tricking him and trying to extort an uncrustable from him and some honey and a hill. Um, I've come to terms with my own tragedy that my wife may have been eaten by a polar bear, or perhaps I always was uh, married to one. But, British boy, I think your parents might be vultures. Or a buzzard. I'm not sure of the difference. It might be a colloquial term thing. Uh, no, I don't think they are, because clearly, if were you not paying attention, go Captain Johnson, they said they weren't buzzards. They said they went to the human store. They went to the human store for their favorite treat, live ham. Would a buzzard loves carrion? You heard mummy, she said, I don't like carrion. You heard daddy, he said, I don't like roadkill. I love live meat from the Buzzmart. And you don't consider it a bit odd, hmm? British man, that of everybody who we've talked to on the email says they aren't the animal and they do the exact opposite thing that the animal does. And when we click the photo, they are indeed the animal after all. Well, are there any pictures or videos? Go, Captain. Let's go ahead and sort through the files. Captain, run your search. All right. Uh, British, two British boy. Yeah, there's an attachment to that email. It's a, uh, it's a kind of a long video. Uh, it says, eating food at the house, not on the side of I-35. Eating real human food, wearing a suit, not covered in feathers, dot M-O-V. Should we c click play? Yes, please. I'm sure. All right. <laughs> oh, I love British food. Mm. I'm having a live hamburger bone and some beautiful mashed potatoes tail. And I think... And I think we will also have... Oh, I'd like hmm, a cooked, a some cooked guts. Hmm, cooked guts. British, it's British food. We eat it, and this will go. I think after this, we'll go to the human cemetery. Pause the video, the please, hangout. Captain. You can see clearly, Mommy's wearing her favorite shawl. There would be a beak if she were a buzzard. It is a rather uh, long shawl. It, it's you see the beak poking from under it. Clearly, you can see it. No, mummy just has a long nose, a long bony white nose, covered in red viscera. Click play, Captain. Oh, here we are. We're at the human roof. <laughs> That's right, the human roof, and we've got a roasted. Oven chicken, we are eating, yes, we are eating a roasted oven pi pigeon, which is British food. We are here in uh, Copperas Cove, Texas, eating our favorite British food. Right, I think after this, we'll go to the, uh, to the uh, biped pub. For a drink of brown. I think I've heard enough, Captain. You can turn it off. I'm willing to accept the possibility that after watching the, what happened with the captain's wife and the co-captain's wife, both of them being an ant and a polar bear respectively, that maybe Mummy and Daddy were buzzards after all. It's possible. No, I don't think it's possible that two birds produced a human man. I think something very dangerous and terrifying is happening back home on Earth. Oh, what do you think that could be, Co-Captain? I'm not sure, personally, but... British boy's parents are vultures. My wife's a pile of ants. Your wife is a polar bear. We have some other people on the ship. Let me check and see where they're at and get their two cents.
Hey, I was just in the back. I was just in the back ta- uh, taking a nap. It's uh, as, as crazy. You sleep for 500 years. and, and uh, You're very sleepy when you wake up. What's going on? As it turns out, the boy, his parents are vultures. My wife's a polar bear. And the captain's parents are uh, wife's an ant. My wife's a polar bear. Sounds like shit. Sounds fucking gay as hell. It's super sick though because uh, I I know like my my wife and and my son, I I know they would never become some sort of animal. Um, well, Rodriguez, uh, would you like to find that out? Because we're all learning something new today about what's left of planet Earth. It seems to have been taken over by talking animals, but. We got a 50-50 shot right now. So I'm the captain of this ship, right? And then you co-captain, British boy. Okay, so three out of six. Somebody they love was turned into some type of animal or insect. It's 50-50 right now. So maybe you can be the one to break the mold. Yeah, search for... Uh, you can just uh, see... You should leave me messages all the time. Just uh, just search um, Rodriguez's wife and see what comes up. All right, all right, let me see here. Hmm, not seeing anything. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah. Well, okay, we've got we'll have the AI, we'll have the AI read the email and then uh, we'll we'll see if there's any attachments. Yeah, go ahead. She's going to say normal things. She's going to say she love me. She's going to say mi corazón. She's going to say fucking papi and shit like that. And then I'm going to go back to sleep. All right. Yeah, sounds about right, Rodriguez. Okay. Hello, papi. I am just hanging out on some pancakes. I am just tripping over some pancakes, but I am not sure. I am not sure, but I just hang on on the pancakes, and that's where I like to be. Maybe later I go to Waffle House, or I up. That's where I work. It's my job. As a, okay, um, you didn't tell me, Rodriguez, your wife works at IHOP? Yeah, she's been working there like 30, 40 years. I believe you're missing the first half of the message, Captain and uh, First Mate Rodriguez. Uh, Does your wife, Mrs. Rodriguez, typically hang out on, as she so eloquently put it, stacks of pancakes? No, I mean, that would be pretty fucking weird. I mean, her being a lady, you know, but I mean, you know, you know how your wife gets when you go out, when you leave town, they fucking... They have their girls' night, and they fucking, you know, hang out on pancakes, you know. Don't try to groom me in with the captain, his wife being ants. I'm just saying it's a grand possibility that based on today's events, your wife might be syrup. Sorry, I had something in my throat. Um... Yeah, listen, Rodriguez, I'm just going off of today's events. It would, at this point, be statistically bizarre if your wife was not syrup. Look, you can play the fucking video. You can play the audio. Uh, I guarantee you, my wife, she's just talking crazy. You know, when I when I go, she start drinking, and she probably, she probably not hanging out on pancakes. She probably, like, like taking pictures of her fucking pancake. Pan, you know what I mean? No, I don't follow you, Rodriguez. Is that some sort of Mexican slang? Yeah, like you know when your wife takes pictures of her of her fucking of her fucking bone. Right. Yeah. Uh, my wife never took pictures of her bone. But uh, if you want to go down this road, um, I'm just gonna let you know it's real fucking lonely. Because as it stands, I, we got no, the first three people who, who dared check their emails and messages. Now I have no one back home, but Captain, feel free to hit the play button. Yeah, let me see if there's any attachments. One second. Uh, so there's an email here, and oh, I, I do see there's no video. It's just audio. So maybe, I mean, th- we got lucky with the video. We're not. It's going to be hard to tell if she's syrup based on the audio alone. So... There's hope for you yet, Rodriguez. Okay, one second. I am just saying out with my best friend. Her name is Aunt Jemima. 
Hey, maybe later we go to a Lincoln log. And maybe we hang out with my other friend. She's a honey bear. She is a bear with a honey come out on the head. And maybe later we go hang out with um Miss Butterworth. I can't remember if that's a type of syrup or not, but but well, none of us are syrup. We just don't like uh we just <laughs> See she said it right there. <clears throat> she said it right there that she's not syrup and look I know Aunt Jemima. I know Miss Butterworth, they're her neighbors. It's actually worse than we thought. Not only is it clear that your wife is syrup, your wife is not even a name brand syrup, Rodriguez. Hey, listen. If my wife was syrup, she would be name brand. Is she just being silly? I think it's possible that Rodriguez's wife could be syrup. After all, my parents are buzzards. Yeah, listen to the British boy, man. I'm sorry, Rodriguez. You came back. You woke up from your nap, and, and you know everything's topsy turvy these days. Um, you know nothing is what it seems. You know I'm fucking suicidal at this point. Uh, Johnson's holding it together pretty good, co-captain. British boy uh, is just you know playing with a pinwheel, or whatever the fuck. I just at this point I kind of need you to understand that it's there's a good chance that your wife is syrup, based on today's events. Ah, uh, you know. I I used to be married to soup. So it's not a big deal to me, really. Because after you marry somebody so hot like soup, you can handle a little bit of sticky syrup. And that's that on that. Okay, night night, I go sleep. Well, at least he's in higher spirits than the rest of us. <clears throat> also, uh, he was married to Soup. Which uh, I don't quite understand. Um, being, you know, the first mate of a Space Force light year mission, you, you make a pretty good salary, so why would you marry Soup? Um, but I, I guess at this point we have to run through everybody, right? We've had Rodriguez... We've had me, we've had the captain, and we've had little British boy. You did have me, yes. Right. Uh, let me look back in the ship. I wonder if it's possible that uh, anybody else could work here. I, I know that there's two more people. Let's go down into the engine room. I'm going to go into the engine room. One second. Boo, 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 boo. I love the sound the stairs make in, the, in this spaceship. Sounds like a kick drum. Oh, there you, there you are. First, second mate Smith, how are you doing, brother? Are you doing? What are you doing down in the engine room? Oh, I, I really, I'm just hanging out. Well, listen, uh, it seems like you're real busy down here drinking all the f uh, fluids that go into the engine, but. I wanted to let you know that um, some strange things have happened on planet Earth. Oh, yeah! Did, did a bear... Did... Uh, what happened? So, you know Rodriguez... No, I haven't met him. He works down here with you. Uh, his wife is Syrup. Um, oh, my, that's nice. It, uh, my wife is a polar bear. Mm. Um... The captain's wife is a bunch of ants, um, and uh, British boys' parents are vultures, so it's po quite possible that if you have any family back home, they've been replaced with either an animal or now an inanimate object. Ah! Okay! What do you I ought to do? Well, we wanted you to kill come myself. Here. No, Smith, please. We I can't. No, listen, bro. On TV. Have... No, there's no TV receptors down here. We're we're 900 million parsecs. Oh, thank God! I didn't want to. 
Then why offer it as a potential solution to I finding out? I couldn't think out? anything else! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing. It's just very smelly down here. What do you do down here? Ah, I stink! No, I mean, what do you do for a job? I right stink I, all the time! Alright, uh, well, that is unfortunate because you're being paid a very handsome salary, but would you like to come up to the top deck? See the people. You never come up. And maybe. I we thought I was at the top! Excuse me? This is the top! There's a whole other, other part of the ship, brother, you've never seen. Ah! Uh. Okay. All right. Follow me. Do, 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 There's do, do, so many do. types of stairs on this ship. Okay. Uh, oh, hey, hey. There's uh, there's Smith and there's Co-Captain Johnson. Smith, how's it going, man? Uh, I feel like I haven't seen you since before we got in the cryo sleep pods. Yeah. I. Uh... It seems something has happened. To second mate Smith, I remember him speaking normally. Yeah, me too. I don't remember the, um, I, Smith, is everything okay? Yeah, I, be, I learned English, but I was watching uh, Sesame Street. Okay, you were watching Sesame Street in your cryo streamer, and now you woke up like a deranged feral man? Yeah, I accidentally thought about kissing Elmo the whole time. Whole 500 years. Okay, well, listen, I'm not gonna fucking sugarcoat this shit, guys. I really just wanted to bring him up here to see what the fuck his wife is or what his parents are. Because at this point, there's no goddamn way that a guy like fucking Smith has uh, a loved one back home that isn't a fucking spoon or a goddamn Pontiac or a fucking ladder or a dog. So... <clears throat> Captain, you know what I'm going to ask of you. Go ahead and dig through the fucking files and see if there's anything in there that could lead us to more knowledge on Smith's family. Yeah, right now, no problem. Okay, two seconds, save Smith. <laughs> Can't talk, guys. Can't talk. Uh, two second, mate, Smith, Smith. Oh, wow, three emails, one audio, and one voice message. Um, all right, let's see. go here. All right, yep. Yeah. We're going to play the email for you. Go ahead, AI. Hey, Smith. It's me, your supermodel wife. Uh, I'm just being regular. I'm playing with my boobs in the car. You know, I just picked up this new Louis Vuitton bag, and I've been thinking about you and your cute butt. But I hope you get back to Earth soon. I'm still alive after 500 years, um, and I'm still beautiful, and I'm, you know, everything's pretty much normal back home, um, nothing really, I, I can't really think of, other than all our animals, you know, they all passed away, uh, and pretty much everybody that you knew, except for me. So that's kind of a bummer, but yeah, these big, big boobs are waiting for you back on Earth. Hope you're having fun. Bye-bye. Wow. Um, I can't believe it. I'm also surprised. I'm sleepy as fuck. Yeah, I can't, be I can't believe it. Uh, I mean, just based off the one email, I think, Smith, I think... I think your wife's still a normal lady. Wow! She looks cool! What so, a babe! Of all of us, of everyone, of everyone left on this wretched piece of tin floating 10,000 miles an hour through space, the one man whose wife was hot to begin with and is still a human lady with breasts and butt. Smith. Of all. Ah, what? What do you want? Smith, do you have any any piece of knowledge, perhaps, why your animals died? Maybe it could lead us to the truth of this mystery as to why my wife is a polar bear and Captain's wife is ants and Mexican 
a man's uh, his wife is syrup, and uh, the boy's parents are buzzards. I don't know how long does an animal live. Well, listen, hold on. Years? I think maybe Smith's wife's trying to. She's sending us hints as to what may have happened on Earth while we've been away. Because there's two more emails here, an audio clip and a video. And let's just let's go through the clues, okay? She's a supermodel that doesn't give a whole lot away. Uh, and she's playing with her boobs. But those are really important things. Um, but she said all the animals have died. And everyone that Smith knew is dead. Right. Where are you going with this, Captain? I'm just saying maybe something with the animals and all the humans died. And then all of our loved ones became... Syrup or soup or, you know, bugs. All right, I'm willing to entertain this just because everything else that's happened today has been profoundly retarded and surreal. Play the second email, Captain. Gotcha. Hey, it's me again, your supermodel wife, Miss New. I was really uh, craving chicken, chicken fingers earlier, but I wish chicken still existed. But, yeah, kind of missing you, missing chickens and, you know, cows and meat in general, I guess. But I I drank some Soylent earlier and it was so good. It was just, it was like this, it was like this Fuji, like, it was like this Boba Soylent thing. And it was super good. You're going to have to try it when you get back. I've been training my big butt and it fits stuff in there now. I can fit like a... I don't know, like a an orange or something, something kind of like big, but like big for a girl too. So I don't really know. I feel like guys can fit more stuff in their butts because they have a bigger hole. Probably. Does a guy have a bigger hole than a girl? I don't know, cause. I'm just a supermodel. That's all I do. I'm not a scientist like you and all your friends up there. I hope you're. I hope you're um, getting. I hope the cryo chambers sucking all the semen out of you. Lord knows I'd be if I was up there. Um, but I think if you if it doesn't, your balls will probably get too big and you'll blow up from all the cum inside you. So it's just me, your supermodel wife. I ate a green bean today. I hope you're having a good day. Well, um, the second video was, was I guess, enlightening. And so far as um, we know that not only is Smith's wife very sexually attractive, but she's also very sexually uh, explorative and curious. Um, <clears throat> so it seems that she has uh, been able to put an orange in her butt and she's even curious as to what a man could put in his yeah i don't know i mean i was hoping for some more clues i, mean, I don't hate that call you know it's uh it's lonely up here you got to save something for the bank you know what i mean yes captain i understand yes we understand captain but i must yeah i, I wish i was a bank Smith, please, we're trying to solve the problem of what happened back home on Earth. Smith's supermodel wife said that she'd been drinking Soylent Boba. Soylent didn't have a Boba flavor before we left for home. Boba is a Chinese drink. Do you think it's possible that the Chinese replaced all of our loved ones with animals in syrups? Uh, that's a, um, uh, wow. You deduced all of that from just that video. Sir oh, is my favorite animal. Yeah, Smith, we got it, brother. Um, we got it, dude. Okay, yeah. Um, I, honestly, British boy, I think maybe if that's the best theory we've had so far. But there's was one there's one thing left, to, one one video left to play from uh, Smith's supermodel wife that puts oranges in her butt. Um, it's very short. It's only ten seconds long. So uh, maybe she'll give us some more clues as to what's going on back home. Hey, it's me, your supermodel wife. Look, at, I just put all this um, uranium in my butt, and it looks so cool. It's all yellow. I love it. See you soon. Oh, my God. What are you thinking, co-captain? 
What are you thinking, co-captain, sir? I'm sleepy as fuck. I didn't know she had a butt. Uh, quiet down now, Smith. I think it's possible based off my deductions. My expert level reasoning is co-captain that hmm, it's possible that um, nuclear war broke out. Nuclear war broke out between the United States and China over Taiwan. And soon the whole world was covered in smoldering, dark, unforgiving ash. Crops died, animals died, people died. Bugs died. Bugs? Yes, Smith, even the bugs. And a hundred years went by, two hundred years, three hundred years, four hundred years. And we didn't know what survived, but something did. The smartest Chinese man in the world. And the smartest Chinese man in the world, with nothing but time on his hands, would do what? To get back at the Americans. And the British. For the opium wars and for um, power rangers and making them white. He would make all of our loved ones in space syrup and polar bears and ants and buzzards. He would spare Smith's wife. Why? I'm not sure. But I think that the last person on the ship might have an answer. Oh, listen, man. We don't got it. Look, he... He was the only one of them left. That's what we thought. We must go speak to the one Chinese man on the ship. All right, anybody want to go grab him? Smith, go grab the Chinese man. He, he run, he's too quick. I can't. Just go down to the, to the dungeon where we keep all of the food. The space dungeon where we keep our rice and go get the Chinese man. Why would he be close to the rice? It's just, it's coincidental. Please don't accuse okay. me of being, of being any type of way. It's not real. I'm a normal man. I'm a PhD in astrophysics. Go get the Chinese man. Hey, Chinese man, come on, get up here. What? <laughs> what are you saying to me? Uh, I didn't know... <laughs> Uh, that's not what I thought you would sound like. Okay, uh... What do you think I sound like? I don't know. <laughs> I, I thought in the 500 years you would lose more of your accent, but that's okay. I basically... Okay. Why you bring me to the top of, of ship? They're gonna... They want to put syrup in your life. That's not true. Listen. Uh, Mr. I don't think we ever got your name before we began working together. Tony. Okay, Chinese Tony. Uh, okay, Chinese Tony. What did you know that the Chinese were up to when the rocket took off? Oh, they tell me they're going to blow up the whole world and replace your wife with polar bear. And they're going to make Captain Wife Ant, and they're going to make British Boy uh, Parent Vulture, and they're going to make Smith Wife keep her hot. I'm kind of funny to do. And then uh, make uh, Rodriguez, his wife, make her, yeah, sure. Up. Why? Funny to do it. No political goal, no economic, no economic destruction or domination or... Heralding in a multipolar world. No, we Chinese like do stuff like that. Really, what it is is um, it's super easy to make polar bear talk like white lady, and it's super easy to make ant look like hand and pussy. Uh, the one I'm most confused about is syrup, but you know, life's strange. Interesting, Captain. Yes, sir. What messages do we have left? There's one message from the president. It's uh, it's pretty long. Um, but uh, are we just going to accept that this is the case? That this is what this is? That the Chinese did this? Oh, it's not about accepting. I'm telling you, we did it. 
Okay, um, maybe the president can shed some light on this. That fool. You think he would know anything? He might know something. He he went to um he went to college. He went to uh, Texas State University in San Marcos, Texas, the preeminent public school in in, tex- in Texas. Um, I thought that was UT. No, everybody says that, but it's actually Texas State, where my friend Jake went. Uh, he's the smartest, sexiest, I'm sure maybe at this point he's probably some sort of worm, or perhaps a spatula. But, um, yes, that's the pres- The president might have um, more answers. I don't know why you call him, I tell you why. Just play that message from the president, if, if, if even to hear a familiar voice one last time. All right, here goes. Hello. It's your boy, Black Ass Hitler. And I've been chilling in this office for quite some time. 499 years to be exact. Yeah. It sucks being Hitler, but it rules being Black Ass Hitler. Chilling, thrilling, and acting like a villain. No uh, pure coincidence with the name. But anyways, I know a lot of fucked up shit been happening to y'all family. And I don't care. I heard that one dude's wife was syrup. I stopped drinking syrup. I ain't drinking nobody's wife. A street code. I heard the one dude, was his girl was a polar bear. I said, damn. Remind me not to fuck a polar bear anytime soon. I mean, I probably wouldn't, but to begin with, the torso's so long. And the nipples is probably up on their stomach like a cat. Most likely. And we don't even know where Antarctica's is, for sure. And, and I heard the other motherfucker, his wife is ants. I thought, damn... He be taking his wife out to a picnic and he don't even know that shit. And then, and then I heard the other dude's wife was still hot as fuck and she put an orange in her butt. And I heard that and I thought, damn. Uh, remind me to not try to do that. I think I would hurt myself. And then if after I hurt myself, I would it would hurt to poop. And I heard the other dude's wife was, uh, I heard the other dude's wife was, the other dude was just Chinese, I think. And I thought, damn, wonder what that's like. I always wanted to be with a, uh, a Chinese wife, but I knew that I probably couldn't handle the verbal abuse. Do you think the president forgot about mommy and daddy? Oh, right. Once again, I'm black ass Hitler. And I heard that other dude, the little British ass boy, the little English ass boy, the little bowl cut, haircut, having ass boy, with the little skinny ass arms in the sullen look, the big ass bags under the eyes looking ass, little Timmy Tim Tim Tom looking ass boy. I heard that he, his parents, was buzzes as urds. I heard that shit and I went, damn. Remind me not to get killed in traffic anytime soon. Or perhaps mauled to death by lions. Or perhaps killed by a tungsten rod sent by the U.S. government to kill me. Just flying through my roof out the other end of my ass while my daughter watches. Pause the videos now. When was this video sent, Captain? Uh, it says uh, he mentioned 499 years ago, so one year after we landed. How could he have known that all of our loved ones would be polar bear, ant soup, hot model, um, and that British boys' parents would be buzzards? How could he have known? Do you think he could reverse it? Possibly have some sort of presidential time machine? Play the rest of the video, stat. All right, got it. So whenever you got 
a clog in your shower drain. What you got to do is don't fast be forward to this. Drain yeah, fast forward. There. Fast forward. I just want to know how to get my wife back. I just so want to when, see. So whenever you trying to find the TV remote and you say. No, hey, no, no. no pause. Can't. Fast forwarded, bastard. All right. I'm just fast forwarding, man. Just, all right. We'll see. And I all tried right. intermittent fasting and that shit didn't work for me. God fucking damn it. And then. Captain uh, scrubbed to the last five minutes of the video. Maybe he left And that's there. why I don't like white walls no more. It's because you can't park no close to the curbs. Anyway, like I said, about y'all families, y'all probably saying, Black Hitler, when did you learn about the syrup situation, the wife situation, etc.? All y'all gotta know is, I've been getting money for the longest. I've been had bankrolls y'all won't ever see. I done been Hitler for 5,000 years. I remember the first time I ever put... I ever put the America chain on. And I said, okay, you looking good, fly boy. And then I remember the first time I rode a bike. The first time I ever learned how to iron a shirt. I remember the first time I ever ate a carrot. I remember the first time I ever had to fight for a spot whenever I went to the movie. And they sold, I bought all the tickets at the movies. So they no, couldn't, nobody sitting there. And one other dude sat, tried, sat in there for free. I said, bitch, I paid $1,700 for this movie theater. For this show in a Coraline. Are you going to come up in here and act like you can watch a movie with me? Bitch, get the fuck up out of here with your fucking crutches. Get your crutches out of the movie theater. You're going to go back in the lobby. You're going to get your own movie theater, you piece of fuck. You piece of fuck. Pause, and I don't give a f- Captain Buzz. Okay. President Black as Hitler must know a way to restore our families. If he, if he knew all along, and he's capable of understanding our current situation in his time, and he's somehow acutely aware of the reality of this ship, then it must be the case that President Black as Hitler could bring Captain's wife back to him, could bring Rodriguez's wife back, could bring my wife back, could bring, maybe could even introduce British boy to his own parents. Is there anything you want, Chinese man? Ah, no, I'm good. All right, that's fine. Cool. Smith, you don't really need anything. Your wife is still hot. I need a towel. I just got out of the shower. Put my clothes back on and they're wet. Did you feel this was an appropriate time to shower while President Blackass Hitler is on? Gee, I didn't have the... Yeah, I didn't, there's no shower down there. I've been waiting a while. Sorry. So I, how did you get... What did you do to get wet, Smith? I got stinky. Okay. Fine. Captain. Play the rest of the video. Hopefully Blackass Hitler can press a button and return us all back to the way we were before we joined this wretched journey. And that's why I think white women shouldn't be allowed to learn how to do tattoos, because now I got this shitty-ass stick and poke in exchange for some horrible head, and that shit say, this, sh- uh, this shit's supposed to be Arthur smoking a blunt. This shit look like, this, uh, this shit look like Terry Crews. This is supposed to be Arthur from the show. Why the fuck he got a goatee on? It was supposed to be Arthur. Arthur from the show Arthur. Okay. Got a uh, big ass polo polo shirt on. That shit is short sleeve. They ain't shit. This bitch ain't never watch Arthur. I got an idea, guys. All right, look. I have a feeling that President Black Ass Hitler might still be alive because he has some sort of way of knowing things that are outside of his sort of window of physical space time. Uh, so I, I'm going to go out on a limb here and I'm going to hit the video call button from this email address, blackasshitler at gmail.com. And we're going to, if he picks up, uh, maybe he can zap us back and our lives will be the way they were. You know, I would hope so. That's a good idea, Captain. It's a good idea, Captain. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. 
Are you not sleeping anymore, Rodriguez? No, I took a. I've been sleeping a long ass time. I'm good. Okay, good to hear. Smith. Hey, how's it going? I just. I still don't know how you got so wet. There's no water on this ship. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to ask any more questions. Okay, Captain. Yeah, that's me. You sounded just like me there for a second, co-captain. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Yeah, I don't know. This is pretty weird. Anyway, um, yeah, let me go ahead and hit the call button for yeah, blackasshitler at gmail dot com. You have now reached the grand master of pimping, blackass Hitler. Into whom do I preside? Oh my god, guys, guys, guys! He answered. He answered. He answered. Hey, listen. Uh, it's 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 Captain. I'm here with co-captain Johnson. I'm here with second mate Smith, first mate Rodriguez, British boy of the ship, and uh, Chinese Tony. Uh, listen. Uh, what everybody's been turned to animals by the Chinese, and 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 Rodriguez's wife is syrup. Scissor. You okay. Say. How did you know all this, A, and B, can you get us back to Earth? Look, I'll answer one question at a time. I knew what was going on because I'm the president. And so for me to know shit is very easy. I watch a lot of stuff on YouTube on how to be, a, uh, how to learn. And sometimes whenever I'm watching YouTube, my... Uh, my partners will send me f videos and say, hey, you got to watch this for the State Department of Intelligence. And I'll say, all right, I was going to find all that shit on YouTube anyway. And they say, no, you have the highest level of security clearance in the country. You do not have to go digging. We will tell you every there are things you can know that we can't. And I'll say, that's what's up. So basically, I learned a lot about that shit through LinkedIn and Facebook. But uh, I did a little bit of a plan with China. Keep this between us. Well, I got $10,000. And they got access to all the information in the world. And they were also allowed to bomb the United States. And they could do evil experiments on all the citizens. But I got $10,000. I spent all that shit on, like, I got me a old Buick. And then I got me some uh, some new clothes. I got I got my mama a new hair dryer. And I got some laundry done at the laundromat. And I got, I went to, I went to, um, I believe I went to either... In and out or what a burger twice, and then I ran out of money. And I asked if I could sell all the information and turn the country over to China again. And they said it was like they threw me another five hundred bucks. You sold out your own country for ten thousand and five hundred dollars. So far, I intend to ask. Other countries, maybe if they can bomb us and destroy us and see if I can get another maybe two or three thousand dollars. Black ass Hitler, I ask of you one thing. I'll give you upon return to Earth and upon embracing my beautiful wife, I will give you fifteen thousand dollars and a bad girl flashlight. Lightly used. If you can undo all the damage the Chinese has done with your black ass Hitler whoopsie daisy button. I would do all that for 14 for sure. But uh, let me see. Can I call them? Uh, call who? Chinese. Chinese uh, president. His name is, uh, uh, his name is Beijing Johnson. Yeah, if you must call Beijing Johnson, just put him on a three-way call. 
I don't know. He has a Huawei phone, I think. I don't know if they connect to iPhone three-way calls. So I don't know if it's going to be a thing where I have to message him separately. Or I have to call him and text you guys. Do you mind if I call him and I text you guys? This seems or actually, I think I'll text him and I'll keep stay on the call with you guys so we don't get disorganized. Okay. Okay. That's... I just texted him. I said, "Hey, big booty. Um, do you can I keep? Uh, how much can you stop? And can you stop doing that to the country?" And, and what did he say, the... man? What did he say? He's. It still shows he's typing. Oh that God. that Beijing Johnson. He types slow as hell. And we're doing it on Telegram, so it's, like, all confusing because I keep opening Instagram on accident when I get the notifications. I just got a notification that a big booty gentleman just messaged me, and I got to decline that shit again. I hate it when big booty guys keep messaging me trying to see me wearing different types of dresses. It's Beijing Johnson, sir. All right. Oh, my God. I just opened a picture on Instagram. It's Beijing Johnson in a sundress. And he's got his sundress lifted up. And he's got he's uh got it written on his butt like he's one of Lil B's sex slaves. And it's got it says You get country back USA for three hundred dollars. All bombs reversed and no more radiation. Will he fix Three hundred dollar. Where the hell are we gonna find that? I just offered you fifteen. You countered with fourteen, and then for some reason, Beijing Johnson countered with three hundred. I don't think you people understand the art of the deal. Please just. No, tell we me. gotta. If so, you gotta give me the fifteen, the fourteen. I'll give three hundred dollars to him, and then I still got f- f- fourteen left. Fine, I'm catching it to you right now. I'm cash shopping you fifteen thousand dollars and three hundred dollars. Okay, well it's gonna take out fees if I do instant transfer <sighs> on that. I'll send you fifteen thousand three hundred and fifty five dollars. All right, perfect. Uh, I hit I hit two to three days. Let me see if I can <laughs> expedite that. Yeah, it looks. I just I always forget my cash app pin. Oh, no, we got it. Okay, uh, okay. now I'm gonna send the money to him okay he just got it and he sent back a wink emoji he's so funny he says no more bombs i just removed all radiation from your country and all the syrup ladies and everything is back to normal and he said by the way it's been an honor working with you and thank the guys up in space for them being up there for 500 years and them and then the, and we're going to send their wives to up there to give them a kiss later. I can't believe it. Fellas, we did it. We did it. Hey, we fucking did it. I, I fucking. We did it. Smith. Yeah. I guess to be excited. Uh, I love it. We've got another uh, one last message from. Pendeo time. Guys, do you know what this is? No. Ah, they're selling out. (laughs) Yeah, it says, uh, this is your captain speaking. It says, uh, if you've enjoyed this, um, if you've enjoyed this space adventure brought to you by Paramount Pictures, expect this out in theaters pretty soon. This is um, is the big space caper uh, written by Paul Thomas Anderson and directed by um, Jared Fogel, and it will be out pretty soon. Uh, and the way that movie gets crowdfunded is if you go to patreon.com slash pendejo time, he tosses five bucks a month. That gets the movie into, like, pre-production, okay? Um, you get access to all the bonus episodes, uh, backlog of bonus episodes, and access to the Discord. It's a really cool place. People get hired in there, people get fired in there, and people... Uh, sell their bodies in there. I don't know. Uh, Ten bucks a month, that gets us actually shooting the movie. Um... Ten bucks a month gets you access to all the backlog of video episodes, plus the bonus episodes, plus the Discord. Uh, and then fifty bucks a month, you can direct the movie uh, with Jared Fogle. Uh, you don't get anything else other than those bonus points, but you get to hang out with the Subway guy. 
He is a close personal friend of Thomas's. They've been friends uh, most of Thomas's life. Actually, they became friends when Thomas was around six or seven. Yeah, I was his personal trainer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to that shit. And if you came to the Chicago show and you're a freebie listener, thanks a fucking billion. That was a blast and a half. We got um, some more sweatshirts coming. Um, if you are not a sub, we're going to sell some merch, some more merch over there, too. Uh, but either way, we've got some more shows in the work for next works for next year. Uh, maybe the fucking Big Fapple. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, also, um, if you ordered a shirt in this first little run, I'm going to have some out tomorrow, probably a third of them or so. And then uh, I should have all of them out uh, by Monday, at least out for delivery. So hopefully everybody gets their shirt by the end of next week is what i'm hoping for um thank you guys for supporting yeah you guys are badass um yeah i'm glad the space guys made it made it back home and everybody's wife was normal uh all right bye bye